The Decatur County Fire and Rescue is equipping their firefighters with new protection to keep their people safe in any situation. ABC 27's Micah Cho is in Bainbridge with what that new equipment is and why they feel it's necessary. After the shooting of Captain Justin Bedwell of the Decatur County Sheriff's Office, Fire and Rescue looked at that situation as to how to keep their first responders safe during active shooter situations. Making sure everyone comes home. That's the mission of the Decatur County Fire and Rescue. They are doing that by taking a different approach from traditional protective equipment. Bulletproof vests will now be a standard item first responders will have with them while responding to certain situations like active shooters. We like to be equipped uh, with the proper PPE and the proper equipment for whatever the situation may arise to make sure we can serve the citizens and get our job done the best that we can. Tyler Dalton, who works EMS for the department, was on scene the night that Decatur County Sheriff's Deputy Justin Bedwell was shot in Brinson, Georgia, Saturday, February 27th. Providing services for the police on scene, Fire and Rescue didn't know they were still vulnerable while working the scene that night with the gunman still on the loose. After the shooting, the department decided it needed to protect its people during active shooter situations, announcing on Facebook that they bought their first ballistic vest. We realized that we were there, we were on scene, and we were vulnerable. That's scary. Each vest costs around $2,000 and is funded through grants. The department says they'll do what it takes to keep firefighters like Austin Davis safe. Make me feel a lot better and make my f home life a lot easier. Have my family safe, know that I'm safer. Fire and Rescue also tells me that they're looking at purchasing five more vests through grant funding, and they hope to have those within the next three months. In Bainbridge, I'm Micah Cho for ABC 27. And the organization that helped fund the first vest was Woodman of the World.